Okay, today we're going to talk about lake formation. So lake formation is something that's unlikely to come up in any depth in the exam, but you definitely need some awareness of it. Uh, what is it? Well, it's a tool that lets you allocate permissions to data within a data lake. And when we say data lake, really what we mean is a collection of data that lives in S3 that can be accessed as a database, uh, primarily through the use of Athena, but then often also ingested into other databases or to a data warehouse solution like Redshift. So the main thing that lake formation lets you do is it lets you as a data lake admin allocate fine-grained permissions to users. So in particular, what you can do is you can allocate permissions not just on a database level or a table level, but actually on a row or even column basis. So for example, you might want to let uh, data analysts have access to the data within the data lake, but not have access to any of the personally identifiable information, for example, people's names and addresses and phone numbers. Lake formation lets you do that. And that is the key takeaway from this. That's probably the only thing, if anything, that would, would be referenced in the exam. So lake formation works using IAM permissions, just like everything else in AWS, but it does have a much friendlier AWS console interface than most other services. Uh, it works using temporary credentials, just like most other AWS services uh, using STS. And as I mentioned, uh, Athena is the primary um, model for getting data out of this, either to access the data directly through SQL commands, or perhaps to then load it into another data store such as Redshift. Here's a nice summary for you. Until next time, enjoy the cloud.